A modified car, but it's almost anything goes in this LMA Euro Saluna Sports Car Championship, providing it's got two or three seconds to the race leaders. Now on board we go with Richard Hawken, who's already making progress through the field. We're only on the second lap of the race. Looks like Fergus Trenholm that he's going past there. On the yep, that's John Hammersley ahead in the Vauxhall Cavalier. So this is looking like a good fight that's shaping up because Richard Hawkin on the recovery drive following his non-finish in race number one and that's a good move up the inside of turn number one so another place picked off there for the Nissan Primera of Hawkin made its way through into nice. second place at the controls of Mal Davison speaking of cars making their way through the field if you look a bit further behind this battle Richard Hawkin is now in fifth place and challenging the uh, Tobit Lotus Sunbeam of Josh Ronchetti so uh, it could well be fighting for fourth place in a very short time but Mal Davison has easily got that move done and he's starting to pull away now from Nick Williamson across the brow or over the brow of the hill I should say here is Josh Ronchetti then with the pressure on with the lights ablaze on the Nissan Primera is Richard Hawkin and he's done so well here from the back of the field Ian yeah Richard Hawkin really making his mark on this race he's going to try and find a way past Josh Ronchetti the Leicestershire driver has the inside line for the hairpin. He's going to hold it all the way around. Good driving. Very experienced driver is Joss coming back to racing a couple of years ago after some time off the sport. And he's got uh, right behind him the Richard Hawken car with its headlamps ablaze showing that uh, he's making his way through the field. Joss Ronchetti will be absolutely aware of that, but that doesn't mean he's going to let him through. Looks like Hawken being willed on from the pit wall there. He knows what he's got to do though. Round turn one they go. Ron Shetty still ahead in the little toll, but suddenly most a real, really popular car. This is a real crowd pleaser it is. Looks like he's doing a lot of giant killing again here this weekend. Can he keep Richard Hawken behind him though? Up towards Church Corner goes the number 84 car. And this is the place where a few laps ago, uh, Mal Davidson was able to begin to launch the attack that took him ahead of Josh Ronchetti on the sweeping run up towards Rocket Corner. Will it be the same story this time? Well, here comes Richard Hawken down the right-hand side of the track. Now, the left-hander will benefit Ronchetti, but the right-hander will be better then for Richard Hawken. They're still absolutely side-by-side. Side. This battle far from decided, but the pace, I think, of the Primera will just about finish the battle off. Although, can Ronchetti get an inside line coming out the corner? He's going to try desperately, but the back end skips out. And I think that is uh, after the clash with Simon Parker's Vauxhall Vectra towards the start of the race. And now Richard Hawkin is all over the back of third place man, Nick Williamson. So Hawkin not content with fourth place. He wants a podium finish here. Dives to the inside line for Peel Corner, and he's got him. I thought he was too far back to make that move. But Nick Williamson, almost as if he didn't see Richard coming, uh, creates a hole, opens the door. But this time, of course, he's got the left-hander through turn number seven. So once again, similar to the battle Richard had a moment ago with Josh Ronchetti, this one is going to take uh, a number of corners to sort out here. Looking at the lap times, it appears that Richard Hawken has got the slightly quicker car than Nick Williamson. And it looks like he's got the move done. So Richard Hawken does go ahead, but there's not a lot to choose between those two on absolute pace and that's why it's a really interesting drive this from Richard Hawken as he makes all these places really good effort from him that's the Tim Morgan Barrett